Good morning, kindergartners. I'm going to read you guys a book today. It's pretty early, so my family is still sleeping for the most part. Even my dog is still sleeping. Can you see Eugene? Oh, she's tired. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's going to wake up a little bit. Here's the book I want to read to you. It's called Snug House, Bug House. And I will read it to you, but you'll probably recognize some of the words. Here we go. Snug house, bug house. Remember, this is the title page. And I forgot to tell you that the author is Susan Shadney, and then Jan Buehler does the illustrations. <gasps> Find it. It. Plan it. Ink it. <laughs> They're drawing it out now. Scoop it. Smash it. Push it. Mash it. Mix it. Pour it, smooth it, floor it. Ooh, this part's a little tough. Roll it. Stop it. <laughs> Saw it, drop it. Ooh, look at that. Cut it, glue it, nail it, screw it. Isn't this a great little bug house? Stir it, fill it, paint it, uh-oh, spill it. Roof it, wire it. They found an old battery, huh? Finish it. Admire it. What do you think admire means? Hmm, admire it. I think they like it. I think they're looking at it and thinking they did a good job. Ed's room. Fred's room. Anne's room. Fran's room. Spot's room. Dot's room. Crazy room. Lazy room. Sound room. Ooh, this one's our favorite. Ready? Round room. Pretty fun. Which one would you want to ride on? I think Miss Hendricks would go on the ostrich. That looks fun. Small house, ball house. Snug house, bug house. Now I wanted to read this one to you guys because we are gonna start a new unit next week on habitats. And this isn't really a bug house habitat, but it's cute because it shows that we each create and have our own habitats and animals do that too. So I want you to start thinking about that for next week, okay? Have a great rest of your day. Eugene says, good night. <laughs> Bye, guys.